right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, back in the boogie down section of the entertainment capital of the world. Welcome to week 76 of This Week in Nerd Stuff with your boy, me, that cool guy, JT Little. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate y'all so much. Thanks for tuning back in for another episode here. First off, I want to just say I hope you enjoyed last week's Funko Pop Report. I know we got plenty more of those on the way. It's been a long time coming, and I, for a fact, loved it so much that... Pop, pop, pop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If y'all saw last week's episode, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. First, a couple of shout-outs here. First, got to shout-out Pokebro78. Congrats on getting your 100 subscriber giveaway. I hope you enjoy those cards. I got to shout out all of y'all as well for getting me over 150 subscribers. So continue to do what y'all do. Like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Helps me out so much. Makes it feel like I know what it is I'm doing in this YouTube world. Um, what else can I say? Listen, follow me on IG. This Week Nerd Stuff. All the posts, highlights, updates are on the page. Follow me on TikTok. This Week Nerd Stuff. Daily pack openings. Well, I'm trying to be have more of them. So... Tune in. You never know when one's going to show up. And, yeah, let's get to the down to why we're here today. Look at this. Look at this right here. You see this? This is a little Rochester Red Wings action right here. A little minor league celebration right here. Because, as you all know, the minor league baseball season is winding down. So, I feel like it's very appropriate to do our very first minor league Wednesday unboxing here. So, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back into the studio and unbox some things, shall we? Wee! All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for still tuning in with me here as we come back into the studio. We got our black playmat out. We got the hats showing. So I guess it's time for another episode of Fitteds being unboxed. And I think if you got a brief look at the intro there, you would have seen something that's very familiar for you. Let me just show it off again real quick now that we're inside here. Look at this. Look at this. A little Rochester Red Wings right here. A little 20 of season action going on here. Got a couple of pins here. This one is exclusive from Hat Club. A little Kodak pin because that's what Rochester is known for. And yeah, I'm showing this off because if you can see here, this is minor league baseball. And now that minor league baseball is wrapping up, I guess it's time to show off and appreciate some minor league hats. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very special minor league Wednesday of this week in nerd stuff. And oh, we got a doozy today because it's not that these hats are coming from one place. We are going all over the place. I got, I got footage from Pro Image, Sneaker Politics, and Hat Club to show y'all. And I'm just letting y'all know right now, all three of these hats fitted of the year nominees so let's get right into it we are going to start with pro image i think that's a great place for us to start with and oh i can't wait for this i can't wait you're gonna have to make sure that you comment which of these hats you are feeling the most i don't think that there is any clear-cut winner here they are all bangers absolutely all bangers so i want to start off with pro image and i want us to take a little look-see at this doozy right here Ooh, look at this oh my goodness this is absolutely exquisite look at this we got us the Birmingham Barons right here Birmingham Barons look at this hat look at this hat oh my gosh 20 years 1988 to 2007 side patch oh my gosh this is an absolute beaut absolute beaut look at this we got this the red here we got us the uh, what, what shade of green is this hmm. i'm not even too sure but whatever the shade of green is it is banging look at that we got the new era logo right there let's flip it over what we got under the under here right here oh we got us a little sticky sticky right here okay there we go all right so we got us the we got us the dark green uv black sweatband as it always should be this is 100% polyester made in China. Seven and three eighths, that's the size right there. Quick hat test, fits like a charm. Now, I show this off and with this appreciation because does this look like something to y'all? Look familiar at all? Well, 
I'm going to give you a little hint, hint, wink, wink. Who's that Pokemon? It's Bulbasaur. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is a shot drop exclusive from Pro Image America right here. It is a Bulbasaur fitted. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh, and also, please take note. We'll be opening up some of these Pokemon Go Bulbasaur pins very, very soon. But yeah, look at this. We got us our little Bulbasaur little fitted hat right here Birmingham Barons right there 20 years 88 to 07 right there flip it over one more time we got us the green UV black sweat made in China for 100% polyester there we have our little minor league baseball batterman right there look at that little Birmingham bearing action for you right there fantastic fantastic place to start put you down right there for right now yeah Oh, but you thought we were done? No, sir. No, 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 no. No, sir. No, ma'am. We got us another place to go. We're going down south and we're going to check out the good folks over there at Sneaker Politics with this second fitter right here. Oh, and I, and I got us a good feeling about this one. All right, here we go. Cut it over here to the side. Cut this open here. This is a big box. Big, big, big box. All right. See, this is why I'm not a professional. Look at me struggling with this. There we go. Cut it open up in here on the side. Bring it up. Boom. Look at that. All right. There we go. And what do we got here? Ooh, this looks nice. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. Hold up. Let me move. Let me move our ball sword to the side here real quick. And let us take a great appreciation at this right here. A little Portland Beaver action going on right here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. This is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fitted here. And I believe that this is the logo of the original Portland Beavers from like the 1950s. I think this is either the cap logo or the jersey logo from the 19... <sighs> either 53 or 57 season i'm not too sure i will double check that for y'all later in the comments or if any of y'all want to leave in the comments which year that's from please by all means go for it because we got us a minor league baseball hometown authentic collection right here side patch this is baller baller right here we got our our minor league baseball logo guy on the back here we got us a little gold border trim little burgundy and i think we got us a dark green color going on right there and of course, we got us our new era logo right there. Also, with the looking like the burgundy color too. Mm-hmm. Flip it over here. Oh, we got us a little something, something on the side there. Oh, don't want to take off my. Uh, don't want to take off my. Ah, well, we'll put that back on later. But look at this. We got us. It's not as dark as the. It's not as dark as the Birmingham one, but it's still a little green shade here. Black sweatband, as it always should be. And what we got here is 100% polyester. This one is made in China. Look at that real quick. Seven and three eighths. That's the size right there. Quick hat check. Feels good. Feels good. Very nice. Very nice. We got us the Portland Beavers right here. And ooh, how can you not say that this is not fitted of the year nominee potential? 2022 fitted of the year. Look at this. This is a gorgeous hat. Look at this side patch. It is absolutely clean. Fantastic. Got us the brim here too. Oof. Like listen, this is this is the this is the fall fitted right here. This is a classic fall fitted. I feel like just rolling around in some leaves right now. Look at, look at that. One more appreciation right here. Looks like I'm going back to school. Look at this. Little green here, little black sweat band going on there. Yes, absolutely fantastic so we got us our portland beavers We're gonna put that right there for right now to go along with our birmingham barons all right that is now two out of three but got a third one coming for y'all so let's just get these two bad boys out of the way right now as i get our third and final minor league baseball fitted right here and this one is coming to us from hat club because why not there we go sneak it up in there boop, 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 boom how y'all feeling so far y'all feeling them portland's them portland beavers or are you feeling them 
Birmingham Baron action right there. Please let me know in the comments what are you rocking this fall? All right, here we go. We got us one final hat right here, and oh wow, this is an absolute stunner here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. We got us get this one, get this one, a little Minneapolis. Millers right here. Yes, yes, yes. Minneapolis Millers. Th this is as old school as it gets. I had never even heard of this team until I seen this hat. I thought this was like some sort of like offshoot Mil Minnesota Twins or like Milwaukee Brewers type hat, but nope. Minnesota Millers from the 19, like early 1930s. As a matter of fact, there you go. Minneapolis, no, not Minnesota. Minneapolis. Millers 1935 American Association champion side patch right here and absolute oh gosh absolute beauty of a hat and get this no MLB batterman on the back hmm interesting this is only the second time that this has happened no no batterman logo on the back and I'm fine with that I'm absolutely fine with that absolutely gorgeous nonetheless we got us the royal blue new era logo on the side let's flip it over here shall we mm -hmm. take off our little sticky here bop bop very therapeutic all right we went with the greens because the greens a classic right here black sweatband as it always should be what we got here 100 percent polyester and this one is made in china so china is the way for this episode right here look at that minneapolis millers quick head test real quick Oh, smooth, smooth. Fits like a glove. Little room to spare. Little room to spare. And oh, look at this. I forgot all about this. I forgot all about this. We got us a nice little OG edition hat club pin right here. So listen, listen. We're going to come on. We're going to stick this. Let me get it out of the. Oh, look at the shine on this. Look at the shine on this. See that right there? Hold up, turn it around. One clutch, very easy. Can go in right of the eyelids right here. Hold on, let's make it official. Let's make it official right here. Oh, doesn't want to come off. There we go. Look at that. All right, boop, boop, boop. Pow. Stick it on here. Came out. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? There we go. Hold it steady, and boom! Now we are official. OG edition, Minneapolis Millers. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. This, you gotta accessorize your fitters, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that shine. Look at that gloss. Oof. Absolutely beautiful. So, wrapping up one more time here. We got us the Minneapolis Millers here with the Minneapolis Millers American Association 1935 champion side patch. No, no Batterman logo on the back. We're perfectly fine with that. We're going to flip it over here. We got us the dark green UV black sweat band and 100% polyester made in China. That is the Minneapolis Millers for you right there. So, to complete our trifecta, Minneapolis Millers, Portland Beavers, and the Birmingham Barons for your Minor League Wednesday special on This Week in Nerd Stuff. Oh, wow. Absolutely fantastic. Three Fitted of the Year nominees right before you in your very eyes. I don't know what place they will finish. I don't know if they'll be in the top 10, but I guarantee you, they are definitely up there for some of the dopest hats dropped this year. Look at this. Look at this. Take it one more time. We got us the Bulbasaur vibes here. 20 year side patch, 1988-07. Look at the Batterman logo on the back here. Flip it over, green, black, perfect. Perfect, can't go wrong with that. If you want a fall staple, this is it. This is the fall one that you rocking with. Portland Beavers right here. Got us the hometown authentic collection side patch. Look at that MIB Batterman on the back. And of course we got us the green. Not as green as the other two, but still green enough. Black sweat made in China. Can't go wrong with that. Get that one more time. And then finally, OG edition, Minneapolis Millers, Minneapolis Millers Association Championship 1935. 
No Batterman, we're fine with that. No Batterman. Flip it over. Green, black, 100% polyester, made in China. Three, outstanding, absolutely outstanding fitteds. I'm so glad that I'm able to add them to my collection. Ah, uh, and I appreciate y'all that y'all watch this. I hope that y'all please take the time to like, comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Next week, oh, we're definitely doing some Yu-Gi-Oh. I know that much. What Yu-Gi-Oh? Don't know yet. There might be an IG poll about it. Remember the vote. Actually, you know what? Before I even sign off real quick, I just want to say one more time, just like look at these. Even look at these from the side real quick. Hold up. Let's get them all in the line. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That is fantastic. All right, so there we go. We got the Minneapolis Millers from Hat Club right there. We got us the Portland Beavers. We got those from Sneaker Politics. And then, of course, we got the Birmingham Barons from Pro Image America right there. Three baller hats. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you all appreciate these. I thank you all for watching once again. Please remember to check out the IG page, This Week Nerd Stuff. Please remember to also check out the TikTok Daily Pack Openings, also This Week Nerd Stuff. And until next week, ladies and gentlemen, please do cue that applause.